Senior Parachute Rigger Certification Requirements. If you take a look in part 65 at 115, you will see that it says, an applicant for a Senior Parachute Rigger Certificate must A. Present evidence to the administrator that she has packed at least 20 parachutes of each type for which she seeks a rating in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions and under the supervision of a certificated parachute rigger holding a rating for that type or a person holding an appropriate military rating. B. Pass a written test with respect to parachutes in common use on 1. Their construction, packing and maintenance. 2. The manufacturer's instructions. 3. The regulations of this subpart. And C. Pass an oral and practical test showing her ability to pack and maintain at least one type of parachute in common use appropriate to the type rating she seeks. Oh boy. So let's take a look at how we could turn that into some questions. And I'm going to get these by looking at the practical testing standards and see what it says there about this. One of the questions it has is, one, the required number of parachutes to be packed per type. Well, we just said it's 20 parachutes of each type for which you seek a rating. Two, the required method of packing. They must be packed in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions, so you can't just stuff them in a trash bag and call it good. Three, the appropriate supervisors for a student rigger. Okay, this is going to get controversial, so let me tell you where I'm getting this text from. This is in an obscure FAA document called the 8900.1. That's what the uh, inspectors use as their guidance when they're checking up on us. And it says, a certificated senior parachute rigger may pack and maintain or supervise the packing of the types of parachute for which the rigger is rated. The supervision is limited to packing of main chutes only. Now, I know some people don't like what I just said. So, as a senior rigger, you can only supervise people packing main chutes. And frankly, this is the same for master riggers. When the rigger supervises packing of TSO, emergency or reserve parachutes, these packs are limited to training purposes only. The pack will be opened for evaluation and must be repacked and sealed by a current and appropriately rated rigger. So what that means is while you're accumulating your 20 pack jobs, none of those parachutes can get in an airplane. And when you want to disagree with what I just said, and I hope you do, Take a look at the 8900.1 before you call me. Thanks. Another question in the PTS is what type of test or tests are required? Well, we just saw that to become a senior parachute rigger, you need to pass an oral, a practical, and a written test. The next question it has is the subject areas of each test. So let's reread that. You have to pass a written test with respect to parachutes in common use on their construction, packing, and maintenance, the manufacturer's instructions, the regulations of this subpart. So that's the written test. And pass an oral and practical test showing your ability to pack and maintain at least one type of parachute in common use appropriate to the type rating you seek. And a little note on this. Before you show up at the FAA with your 20 pack jobs to get your sign off on your form, make sure you already know these rules because it's well within the inspector's rights to say, hey, what do you know about this subject area? So don't look foolish.